Hi Cancer, welcome to your December mid-monthly reading. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are returning a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morrigan, and to whom all my work is devoted to. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Okay, I don't know why. You guys have been on this love train. <sighs> Every time I think about you, I think about love. Every time we do a reading, there's something to do with love. Like you are either you are either emitting love or you are manifesting love. You are attracting it or you are just vibrating at this high frequency of love and nurturing and kindness and abundance and uh, just like it's like you're relishing in this um I don't know how to explain it to you. It's like you're relishing in this energy of like, just like high vibrational, high frequency love. And you know what's so funny? Uh, sorry, before I get to your reading, Cancer, I know you'll forgive me because, you know, we're, we're water signs together. Um, you just made me think of the gemstone jewelry line that I created, Starsea Jewels, because I'm wearing Aphrodite and I'm wearing Venus. Uh, on my left and on my right, I got Bologna and... Um, um, Malojo, you can purchase them, link in the description box below. But aside from that, it, I literally get this energy of like Venus and Aphrodite um, vibes around you. It's like, it's like people, like people can't take their eyes off you. That is, the, that's exactly it. Like you are so, <laughs> you're so delicious right now is what I want to say, which I know kind of sounds a bit creepy. This is your mid-monthly reading. Okay, yeah, the Three of Cups, the Tower. Okay, so you're you're celebrating. You might have actually even been in a little bit of a third-party situation. The Ace of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Let's see what this tower is all about. You know, so far I'm not getting bad vibes from this tower. It's like the constructs of old ideology, old, patterns is is dying yeah so okay so i'm just gonna do this because i'm picking it up energetically that's for those of you that were in a third party situation i think you realize to love yourself enough to no longer be in that the three of cups of tower the three of pentacles it's like you're like yeah no i'm not i'm not participating i'm hearing some of you might have been in a oh i don't know how to pronounce it a polyagamous polymonogamous polyagamous polyagamous the dip the not the monogamy the polymogamy that one <laughs> uh, some of you might have been in something like that and realize it just it wasn't working out for you because you're you're vibrating too much love and you're like no 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 this i'm not i'm not here for for like th third party situations third wheel things i'm only i'm only now vibrating at this high frequency of like venetian aphrodite love beauty where you're like it's insatiable the star i don't do reversals like literally people can't take their eyes off of you and I think you've come into that power where you're just like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not the lovers, the knight of wands. Like, like I said, I was feeling it, right? It's like, it's like you shifted your energy from this stuff, right? Um, these challenges, um, maybe like allowing um individuals to um entertain, not putting you as a priority and making you an option. Woo, that came through hard. Um, and now you're like, no, no, I'm not. I'm not here for that. I'm here for this. You know, I'm this. I know I'm this, right? I know I deserve all the love in the world. I know that I'm not. It's not. I'm not an option. I'm a priority, right? I am delicious. I am love. Like you know, all the good things. And and again, people can't take their eyes off of you. You are magnetic. Like, I probably can't even take my eyes off of you. Oh, my God. Yeah, look, there, there's the Queen of Cups with um, Judgment showing up there. You are again, Cancer the Hanged Man. Okay, let's pull out two more cards. What else is happening here for Cancer? Okay, so look at that. People fighting over you. Look, yeah, Four of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. Listen whatever you and the king of the king of uh wands yeah whatever um I, so here's what i'm gonna say to you okay whatever happened up here you got a lot more cards than most people do but there's a story to be said here because i feel it 
whatever happened here, okay, with the Three of Cups, the Tower, the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, it could have been people talking crap about you. It could have been, um, you know, I, I'm not seeing a lot of career stuff, but for some of you, it could have been career things not working out, the career opportunities falling through, a shift in your career, a shift in the way that you view careers, your love life. Um, it kind of had you up in your in your mind, right? You were like um, over analysis paralysis. You were stressing out. You were worried about it. You were like, I don't know. Not another, not another month of this, not another year of this. 2020 is almost over. I don't want to take this with me. And so mid-December, you vibrate into this energy of like, okay, so I know I can't be in this anymore. And I know that the power is not within anybody else but myself. And so I'm going to go here because I'm powerful here, right? And as soon as you shift that energy from here to here, all this that it's the dawn of a new day the ten of swords is a hard card to look at for sure but with the rest of the cards i'm seeing here it's like the worst is over for you okay so take the hits and move on knowing that it's done because while there's darkness at the top of this card there's also a light coming up okay and so the star and the lovers is saying to you first when you vibrate in this energy of pure magnetic like venus aphrodite energy you attract right? Multiple suitors. There's people fighting over you. Everyone wants a piece of you, Cancer. Multiple men, women, whatever your situation is, whether it's romantic, career, friendship. It's like you, your energy is vibrating at such a frequency that people are like, I need me some more Cancer in my life. Mm, cancer this, and mm, Cancer that. And, um, and for some of you, there might, you might actually, like, you might have been, um, like, it was you and two people were fighting for you kind of thing, if you get what I'm saying. Um, and Raven, is that you? And that's the energy that you're vibrating at right now, or you're just like, yo, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I, I, why are you guys fighting over me? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm good. Like, you don't have to fight for me. You know, maybe in the past I allowed it to happen, but it caused a lot of riffraff in my head, okay? Um, and and so, uh, like, mid to end December, you're in your power because there you are, the Knight of Pentacles again, right? You're very solid and very comfortable in your energy. Sorry, that noise is Raven. I don't know what she's doing. Um, Willow sleeping beside me. Raven's being crazy. So here you are in your power again, right? Here you are sitting going, yeah, like, I'm comfortable in my money. I'm in control of my life. I got my finances, my looks, my vibe. I'm good. I'm solid. I'm magnetic. You know, um, if you're wanting to purchase my jewelry, like, um, this would be a great time to purchase things like Aphrodite and Venus, which is going live on the website this week, because that's the energy you're vibrating at. So why not help get the help of crystals to help continue to pull that, that energy from you? Honestly, money, don't worry about it. Your life, you're good. You're good. You're going to be okay. 2021 is going to bless you. Some of you do have a king of wands that you're thinking about. Um, maybe some of you, that's like the option. Like, do you date the king of wands? That's a Leo Sagittarius Aries vibe because they're showing up here again too. Um, I think that they may want you really badly. And I don't know that, I don't know that if you know if they're right for you. Whether you're male or female, whatever you um, resonate with, it doesn't matter. I just, I'm getting this energy that you're like, I'm not, I'm not sure if you're the right person for me, right? With the four of cups, you know, there is going to be this energy of you contemplating. Do I take this offer potentially from this king of wands, right? Or do I go inward, right? And review my life and assess maybe patterns that weren't serving me anymore, okay? Um, or do I take this opportunity of love, of new, new abundance? new emotions new feelings all right let me see what's going on here for your astrology cards okay get a look so self node um gifts and lessons okay so yeah that's the ten of swords showing up hold on you got one card jesus you had a lot of cards um okay so the first house which is ruled by aries so the, again that might be an aries or that might just be you uh, identifying with that aries energy this is the house of the self identity here is where we can see one's personality behavior character physical appearance as well as their attitude towards life it starts with a sign known as the ascendant okay so maybe some of you have aries ascendant or cancer ascendant okay because this is a cancer reading oh my god you got so many um if you know how to read a needle chart go look at your conjunction unity anatomy Autonomy, sorry, individualization, inner self, self-motivation, concentration, personal interests. 
all right? And then waning gibbous, releasing gratitude, nurture, acts of service, which again, that's your vibe, right? You are, you are always in the nurturing acts of service energy, and I think you're going to be really sitting comfortably in that. What did I say? For those of you that have been wanting to attract your divine partner, your life partner, like it's right here. It's literally right here. That's sacred union. That's Juno. Uh, I don't know that you get into a relationship this month. I think that you start realizing, excuse me. <coughs> I think that you start realizing that you're not going to entertain things that are not serving you. And you're going to want, you're going to, you're, it's not you're going to want, you're, you're vibrating at that a magnetic frequency that's going to bring you your divine partner really quickly. Denial. I acknowledge my fear by replacing it with the inside of awareness. Yeah, there's that four of cups, the ten of swords, right? The nine of swords. You're not in denial anymore. I think you've owned that. You've owned that sometimes you can get really deep into your emotions and that those don't serve you very well. Free yourself. It's time to take control back of your life. Okay? Awesome. So, Cancer, if you're interested in a private reading, take a look at the description box below to book either a live or pre-recorded with me. Also, if you're interested in purchasing my crystal jewelry, um, description box has the link to purchase. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support, my fellow water sign. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye. See you later, alligator.